Howdy folks, I'm Aaron, welcome to Lowe's Joinery. Today's video, I'm going to be recapping one of my earlier videos and I'm going to be showing you how I paint my MDF edges. It's coming up. Okay then folks, hope everyone's okay and uh, safe and well. If you're new here, uh, let me introduce myself, my name is Aaron. Uh, I've run a well run. I've got a small little business uh, based in the West Midlands, and I just make radiator covers basically, um, all bits of little bits of furniture, coffee tables, stuff like that. So yeah, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and uh, share it amongst your friends. It means a lot to the channel and to me. So uh, without further ado, let's crack on with the video. Right then, so. Painting MDF edges, there is so many theories, facts and illusions on what people need to do, should do, can do and have done. <laughs> I don't do a lot of work on mine to be fair, but you know, hopefully I get, well, I get a pretty damn good finish with it. So I thought I'd whiz up a little video and I would show you lot what my current procedures are. If you want to copy them and, and apply it for your own, your own little thing, then brilliant. So for me, a couple of factors when you're painting MDF and MDF edges, there's a couple of factors which play a big part. First off is this stuff, the MDF. This, it's a moisture resistant MDF or MR MDF, you'll see people call it. Obviously, as the name says, it's moisture resistant, so it doesn't get affected by the moisture too much, which means it doesn't swell the fibres a lot um, and you don't get that horrible fluffy edges which you're probably more familiar with when painting MDF. So first one is good MDF. If you start off with a good MDF you will be on a winner straight away. Second thing is paint. Try and stick with a really good paint, nice and thick, something which is going to give good coverage. I will show you in the video what I'm going to use for this particular task. You don't have to follow it, it's just what I have used and I know will work. Okay then folks, so I've been having a little think on the best way to do this and I think what I'm going to do uh, for simplicity is I'm going to make a little mock-up of the radiator cover legs which I do every single day. It's just two bits of MDF glued at a 90 degree angle that would form the return into the wall and the face, the face of the leg. The reason I've done this is because we've got the face of the MDF here and we've got the edge of the MDF here and because it's glued up we want to make this look like one complete face so to speak so that that'll be a great example to show you Just a quick little tip, when you're doing your glue up, put a little bit extra glue in and make sure you get a good squeeze out because the squeeze out will fill any of the little uh, discrepancies in the glue up. So if there's if there's anything there and you're not pulled in tight and the glue squeezes out, it'll fill that up, it'll dry and it'll be like, um, be like an instant filler basically. So yeah, let's do the other one. Right then, I'm gonna let them dry. I'm gonna crack on with a bit of paid work, stuff that pays the bills. And I'll catch you uh, back when uh, these are dry. This is dry now, obviously it needs a good old sand and that is the key. I'm gonna hit it with this. This is the Festool RTS 400. It's an orbital sander. Doesn't have to be fast tall, any sander obviously will work. Um, and I'm gonna hit it with 80 grit. Yes, 80. And I literally, I go from 80 grit to paint, to primer. And I know that's gonna sound really cowboyish, but believe me, it works, okay? Just have a feel because 
I found that your hands are the best the best aid here if you can feel any discrepancies or anything obviously sand them out now before you start painting so I'm going to paint this edge and I am going to give it a really heavy coat it's going to look ridiculous honestly but this is the best method I've found always wear a mask as well guys uh, I've got a two point tip 2.0 tip and just my standard acrylic primer if you know anything about me or you've seen me before, you'll know I use this all the time. I'll put a link in the description to where I get it from. Pressure set at about two bar. the top coat just so it's kind of off the shelf ish I'm using Leyland trade this is a fast drying satin this is a Deville Bliss FLG 5 and this is a it's a 1.4 tip so it's quite a small tip it gives me an absolutely beautiful finish So that's it, as simple as that, nice and easy, one primer, two or three top coats. Obviously it would have been done in two definitely because the paint was thinned down but that's a different video. But anyway, yeah, this is it, all finished. It's really hard to get a decent picture because the flickering and that's the actual, um, that's the edge of the MDF. So you've got your face and then the edge if you remember and then you've got the actual edge grain there. It's not grain, Aaron, it just feels beautiful. And that's the uh, that's the brushed well rollered actually I rolled everything on this. 
that's the edge and then the face of the MDF. Do you know what? That's more than acceptable. You know, if you haven't got a spray set up, that is more than acceptable. Anybody, if you've got any questions, just pop them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. I've had an absolute massive rise in subs and I just want to thank everybody for the watch. And if you have subscribed, the channel has really started to pick up um, and it just gives me the incentive to get out there and start making more videos. So... So anyway, I'm going to leave this one, snap it up here because it's going to end up being a 15-20 minute video. Hope everybody has a lovely day. Please stay safe um, in the current climate. Look after yourself, have fun in the workshop and until next time, I will catch you later.